I'm at Urban Shelter and Life Camp, Abuja, Nigeria, and I'm just about to show you guys what your sh money can buy you in Abuja, Nigeria. So this is the living area, right? The living area is not so big. I thought it would be bigger. Until you film it, until you film it, three things before you find out what it is. Oh well. Guest toilet and bathroom. Just toilet. Where's this store? Guest room. Oh, comes the mini wardrobe. It's a guest. Don't just stay for long. Well, true. Oh well. Okay, it doesn't come with to an extent. So, like the kitchen. Comes with the burner and stuff. Comes with the fridge. Okay. Comes with the freezer. Like a modern kitchen basically. Microwave. Microwave. So it comes with a five burner. Okay, it comes with a dishwasher as well. Yes. Cool. And they stop. But this is basically just under the staircase. Okay. Is there a cleaner apartment? About the same size now, yes. but the bathroom is bigger. Okay. How did you say? Ch So that room is what? Madame. <laughs> Your wardrobes are small. Takes you to the balcony. Yeah. This is sick. 
sick, sick. I like the idea that room is sick. Yes, you guys got it. <laughs> but you have to be cutting or blind. Or can you see from outside? Like, look you at that house. You can't see inside so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so you need to put like blinds or curtains or something here. Yeah. But this isn't bad. You guys should make your houses clean, please. You can actually have a party have here. Parties. Cool. I was wondering what was upstairs. You can have a mini gym here or something. Yes. Have, Just put all your equipment. Yes, and be like a mini lounge or you can make it into anything you want basically. Like, only the fully detached that Oh. Cool. So how much does the four bedroom fully detached? One Only. See, we consider everybody. They are funny. <laughs> just saw now was a four bedroom fully detached house so on this line here you have the four bedroom semi-detached houses so there are, the difference between the four bedroom semi-detached and fully detached is that the semi-detached doesn't come with a the party place upstairs that actually is but the fully detached comes with that and then the semi-detached doesn't come with um, many many things in the kitchen like a dishwasher and stuff but so far it's been looking good now this is phase one of the estate <music> Oh, don't sell it. <laughs> 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 we mix 
sense. I like this belt a lot. So this is like a child's room. Yeah. Because of this yes. top.
Todos não tinham de alça. O quê? Que salvador. Oh, oh. I love the light. The country is the good. Oh, fresh air. Fresh air. Guys. This place is so pretty. Oh. What was? So what is this place? A new wardrobe. The person. Ordinarily, this is from this place starts the room. Okay. But the owner of this one wants to have a kitchen as here, so takes it in one. This was supposed to be where the wardrobe was. Oh. Why a kitchenette? What that supposed to be there? <laughs> okay, wow. So you can ask for that to happen. Yeah. Or the person did that willingly on their own. When construction is going on, there are certain changes you can make at no extra cost. Oh, so one, it's better. Once we've finished it, that thing are changing. It's your no, business. You pay for it. <laughs> it's your own cost. <laughs> The four bedroom fully detached. <laughs> four bedroom fully detached all day, every day. <laughs> that has a warm life. Yeah, 
there's one room here. There's another room? Yes. Ordinarily, this is supposed to be a single room. So what happened? Your mother doesn't want to see what I do with the same thing. Your mother doesn't want to see it. Doesn't want to see my nails. The word I was with. So what happened? So what happened? So what happened? So what happened? Okay, let's go. That's what happened when you change it. Oh no, no, no. So we have another room here. Do you not made it or this was in the shelter? So the owner has five, six, seven, seven rooms. All I come on the way downstairs to cook food. Now, all the oil. Yes, that's the god. Yeah, that's why. No, you're, you're, already, you're already preparing to fuck with me. I'm not being biased. I'll say what I like. You're not being biased. Your, no, stop being biased. It's my preference. Your... <laughs> well, I see. She's going to be biased. Don't believe her. Anything she says about the five bedroom or four bedroom is not true. It's true. It's they true, guys. They're all amazing. They're all amazing. Facts. They're all amazing. But me, oh, I prefer the four bedroom fully detached. Cool. So that is supposed to be the mosque. The mosque. There's no church. Yeah. So I was in the middle of editing this video when I realized there were no clips for payment plans so I'm really sorry about that so these are the payment plans so you all have seen in the videos you know exactly how much these houses are costing so let's say you want a four bedroom fully detached house that's going to cost 135 million naira so for you to be able to pay for this money I know it's not a lot it's not like you're capable they're capable. Make an initial deposit of 30% of whatever house you are willing to buy and then when you make this 30% initial payment, that doesn't guarantee you getting the keys to the house. No farm. 30% <laughs> initial payment just guarantees you getting an allocation of a home and not the keys to the house. When you have paid 100% of the amount for your home, then you get the keys to the house <laughs> so please bear that in mind urban home shelters also do not offer mortgage plans so if you were thinking of getting away with the mortgage plan now nah, this is not the house for you i'm so sorry when you pay the 30 percent initial deposit you split the remaining for 18 months 18 months only and i also didn't mention the location of urban home shelters like they have the estates in different places in nigeria so they have one in lagos one in abuja as you've seen well, they have like four in Abuja, they have in Lagos, and they have in Mina and Kaduna as well. So in Lagos, it's located in Oniru and this one, yeah. So if you're interested in checking out the homes, you should definitely go there to check it out. If you want to find out more information about the urban shelter home, I'll be leaving Vincent's name and his phone number in the description box, as well as Abdul Malik's number as well. So these people work at urban shelter and you can call them to get whatever information you need. And then I'll also be leaving their um, website. You can go to the website and see for yourself as well. So in Abuja, they have the, S the urban shelter estates in Kubwa, in Dawaki, in Life Camp, Lokoguma, and towards Airport Road. So the one I went to was a Life Camp called the Bellevue <laughs> um, Estates. And then in Kubwa, you can get the one bedroom, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms apartments only in Kuba, they are not in the life camp apartments or houses where I showed you guys, they are in Kuba. So if you are thinking of getting a one, two, three bedroom, you can get them there. Now I know you'll be wondering, how much is it? One bedroom house goes for 9.5 million naira. If you are willing to split 
your payment within two years so if you pay your 30 percent initial deposit and then you split the remaining in two years and you get your one bedroom apartment but if you want um, to split it longer than two years the one two and three bedrooms you can split them as long as five years but the four bedrooms and above you can't split them for five years i'm sorry you can only split them for 18 months i hope you liked this video if you did please share it if you didn't okay please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video